Hello again. In this video, we will be discussing practical application of our new G0 Gateway Series models, G0, 3, and 4. So, let's get started. In our first example, as depicted here in this slide, you can see we have an HMI and a PLC communicating via serial communications. So what we have set up here in our lab is a VFD connected to a simulated ProFace HMI. As you can see, the existing cable has the G03 spliced into the COM bus. When tapping into any supported serial protocol, the only thing you really need to know is the pinout of the existing devices. So you can simply cut and terminate the cut ends on the G03. Please refer to the connection guide for more information. So just to recap here, I've got a VFD speaking to a simulated ProFace HMI. It is tapped into with the CMT G03 into the Modbus connection. And then of course we've got an Ethernet connection going to our PC with our OPC UA client application running. So let's go ahead and look at how all this works. Here you can see our client app has picked up our tags. You can see our tags. So now I'll do a split screen here. So you can see the uh, values, the data at the same time. And as you can see, it has no trouble at all transferring the data on over. So now this next slide is a representation of a situation where we might want to use the G04. Uh, we've got a Micrologix 1100 speaking to a uh, ProFace HMI. So this is what it would look like after, of course, we go ahead and uh, integrate the CMT G04. So let's go ahead and take a look at our setup here in the lab. Our Micrologix PLC our ProFace HMI, our CMT G04, and you can see we've got the uh, Ethernet cables connected. Here you can see we have uh, switch 1 and 2 connected to our PLC and our HMI, and they re-establish communication with each other. And then, of course, uh, the LAN connection goes to our PC that is running our client app. And you can see here that the uh, data displays up on the app. Change the settings here locally, and you see they change up here. If you can get a good enough view of that. I have uh, one more scenario uh, we want to go over here real quick. Uh, we've got a, a CMT G01 set up. Here in our before scenario, we've got a remote I.O. module connected to a simulated uh, ProFace HMI via Ethernet, and we were also connected via serial communications, Modbus RTU, to an Arduino board. Now here in the after scenario, you can see we've added in a switch. Um, we've got uh, Ethernet connection to the G01 on the Ethernet port, and of course uh, we've got Ethernet out to our OPC UA client. 
from our switch, we've got an Ethernet connection to our HMI as well as an Ethernet connection to our Modbus module. And then the serial connection on the CMT goes to our Arduino Modbus RTU. So it's actually going to be the bridge for the serial data getting back over to the system. So let's go ahead and take a look at our lab setup here. So here, of course, we have our um, G01 with the uh, Ethernet connections, as in the diagram before, and our serial connection uh, appears our switch. And um, of course, we're going back to our plan app. We've got our simulated pro face. We've got our remote I.O. modules that were connected. That is talking to both the ProFace and the G01. And then down here is our Arduino board. And the serial signal is being passed through the G01 to the ProFace. So I wanted to go ahead and show you how easy it is to knock out one of these gateway projects. First we want to add a device driver. Let's do something a little different this time. And uh, make it Ethernet. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, do an OPC UA server. And um, we've got our settings here. And for simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and just take out the security stuff. We've got other videos on all that. And uh, I want to go ahead and add some tags. And uh, I'm going to add some groups. And uh, let me add another group. And uh, that's about all there is to that. So let's go ahead and download a project.
So I've got a uh, client app here, and um, and it successfully connected to our gateway. And uh, you can see the values of the uh, tags we made. So uh, it's just that simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate one more thing for you real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, create a OPC UA client app and show how that can interact with the uh, gateway or one way it can. Uh, so we're going to add a uh, OPC UA client. And our uh, IP address, I happen to know, is this. I want to show you something pretty cool here. We're going to connect to the server and go ahead and discover the tags. I'm just going to select all of them. As you can see they're all here, the ones we made. So they're all there, so I'm going to select all of them and bring them into the project. And there they all are. Okay. Great. And okay. So now I can uh, create tags for all of these objects. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run a simulation online. And uh, there we have our data. And it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.